All right, bells. We know that sometimes pedestrians, when you sneak up on them from behind, uh, they can't hear you, they can't uh, see you. So it's often handy to have some kind of a little warning device. In fact, some localities require you to have some sort of bell that you can ring to let pedestrians know you're around. So I went to AliExpress and I bought a variety of different bells to see uh, how they sounded. It's pretty difficult to tell just from the pictures. I provide links to specific vendors, but the way AliExpress is, usually those links would be dead in a few weeks because those particular sellers would not be in business anymore or would not be offering the product. So what I'll do instead is in this video, I'll have a link below to the actual uh, searches that I use to find the bells. And then with enough information about what they look like, hopefully you'll be able to find a similar one from some seller. So uh, let's start with the biggest bell. Um, this is a big old, uh, all of these pretty much are meant to mount on handlebars, but you can put your finger through it and then adjust the uh, size using the screw uh, and a shim or whatever method you want. You can put some tape around it. Um, this bell is the largest one as far as its diameter. Uh, it's also the only one where you push it to make a noise. So to give you an idea of what that's like, this one, because of its uh, design, would require you to hold it in your left hand. So if you're a lefty and you want to hold it in your left hand, this is not a bad selection, possibly. Um, it makes the classic multiple ring sound. Um, the big drawback I had to this one is the vendor I bought it from uh, sent it with this big old nasty sticker on top of and it took quite a bit of work with some goo gone to get all the adhesive off and you can still see some of the residue on it. Um, overall, I think this bell is too large and too much of a hassle to use uh, if you're riding an electric unicycle at least. Not bad for mounting on a handlebar. Um, this one was my favorite and I actually bought a uh, four of them because they were so inexpensive. It was only 50 cents uh, for each one of these. Uh, this one I believe was like $1.79. Uh, this is a single ding bell. Uh, good for left or right because you can just put it on your left or the uh, ring uh, index finger of your left or right hand. You get a nice little ding, not too loud. Um, this one uh, is a multiple ring one, uh, better used in your right hand than your left. So I'm going to switch using my, the camera. Um, so you would hold it this way and you notice you get a single ding. I feel like it's probably not worth the difference between this one and these because it's actually a little less convenient to swing your thumb over and click on that. As you push it, the bell wants to move back. So I would not put this on my top of my list. Um, these two are exactly the same. They are uh, just different colored housings. Uh, most of these come in all kinds of different colors. I chose red for most of them. These didn't have red, so I just chose the silver. This one has a gray body and a black body. Um, for these, again, they're probably best for someone who wants to hold, hold it in their right hand. Nice little ring sound, similar to that big bell, but a smaller form factor. Um, and exactly the same sound coming out of this one. Now, when you go to buy these on AliExpress, one way you can tell whether it's that single ding or a multiple ding is the shape of the, um, the little thumb pusher. So on these... Um, You'll notice it's somewhat ribbed on top. Uh, that's so that you can get your thumb on it to ding it. Uh, these tend to have oval shaped or, you know, somewhat uh, non-round uh, shape. These here have something that implies that your thumb's going to push it. So if you're if you're looking and you know you want one that you can kind of flick to ding you know you don't want these. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, if you want something where you just do a single ding, you're probably better off with these little thumb ones. Um, 
I saved this somewhat larger one for last because it's the most interesting. Uh, you'll notice its body is slightly larger and it has, yes, a compass on it. Now, it's kind of a fiddly, jiggly little compass, but it does seem to work roughly correctly. So um, you may want, uh, if you don't have your phone with you, or if you just want something you can quickly look and say, what direction am I headed? Um, this might be the one for you. Slightly different tone than the smaller bell. And obviously the compass. Uh, I think this one was a dollar fifty, maybe maybe up to a dollar ninety nine. None of these bells that I showed you here were more than two dollars uh, at the lowest price uh, vendor I could find. A few of them, you can find them more expensive, but there's really no reason to buy them at the more expensive place. Uh, all of them showed up, um, and uh, the two dollar price includes shipping. So. These four, since they were 50 cents each, I paid $2 uh, for four of them. So I've got plenty of them here, uh, but I think, interestingly enough, that the least expensive, smallest one is the one I'll probably go with, and I've got plenty of them, so even if they're not that durable, probably four of them will last me long enough. So that's the review of all these little signal bells. Hopefully you'll find one that you like. Thanks.